morning! This video is going to be about pedicures, equine pedicures. Um, but first, before we go out there, um, let me show you what my husband made out of a horse. Well, I don't know if it was horse, it could have been cattle too, but a rasp, which is a great big file that they use to file down hooves. And he made this knife, I don't know, he calls it a bushwhacking knife or something. And look, you can see he's left the pattern of the rasp in it on both sides, and he tried to leave the brand in there. And then this guard, I think that's what you call it, um, was down and part of the tang inside, and so it was a rectangle, and so he did all that shaping. And so it's a hypocarbon steel, and I think he also waxed each little hole with carnauba and beeswax so that it wouldn't rust. And this handle is madrona, which it grow a local tree. It grows red bark. Um, it's just a beautiful tree. And then this end piece, which he had to balance it, because it feels pretty good. It fits your hand really nicely. Um, was from a pickaxe he found in the garden. So it was all rusted and everything. So he shaped it and polished it. And I guess with, you know, good steel, you can always polish it up pretty. So this is his rat, his, I don't know what you call it. Uh, anyway, his rasp knife is what I call it. A fellow gave the rasp to him and said, see what you can do with it. And then he puts his little brand of JBS on it. Uh, let's see, so in between, here, the red is fiber, and then the uh, copper in between. No, brass, he said. It's brass in between with the, uh, well, it's a fiber that they use for knives and stuff. So anyway, anyway, it's pretty heavy. It feels really nice, and I think the fellow's probably just going to display it. Um, oh, because we, you know, we have to stay makeup. I figured, i got to put something over the point or it might hurt my bag. I figured I better show you what's on my face. I haven't done makeup in a while, have I? Uh, on my cheeks is the Frozen Petal by Terry. And I just take a little uh, Real Techniques brush and just dab it on a little, bit, little tiny bit. And it, uh, not very much comes in the jar for $58. But oh, I love this bright coral color. And it smells like roses, that's why I had to smell it. Then on my eyes, Emily gave me the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. I think it's one of the ugliest packaging. God, what a horrible color. But anyway, they could have done black, brown, white. Well, maybe not white, but anyway. The inside is what is gorgeous. It, today, I have on love all over my lid. Oh, lordy. We got problems. Well, I did my makeup and then I did what you're going to see, the horse thing. Uh, then I did sheer joy on the brow parts. I did soulful on the lid. I'll go this way so you don't see that horrible lid. And mocha in the crease and outer corner. I used uh, L'Oreal pencil for liner and that's not so good. And I finished up my... Well, I've, I'll save that and tell you later what I finished up. Uh, so now I'm using the Better Than Sex mascara. It's a huge brush, so I have to get used to that. But being new, it goops on all kinds of lash length. Then lastly, on my lips is Gear Lane number 120. Like you can see that. But look how fun that is. And thank you very much. Linda gave me this. And I love it, and I think of you every time I put it on. It's a beautiful semi-sheer. I mean, it's still got enough pal. I try to use up my Modesty and my Ample Pink Gloss from MAC Modesty Lipstick. And it's taking forever. But if I use it in videos, and I think I did my last videos in it, and my lips just disappear. So, uh, thank you for joining me, and let's go on and I'll show you an equine pedicure. No, I'm too chicken. I would give her a chance to, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Something, of course, you know, things can happen. They could break a tooth or get an infection and have to shift everything to one side and, you know, not yeah. chew. That can happen. Temporal mandibular joint and the vagus nerve and how it the hind end. It's all oh, wow. really connected. So, oh. there we go. His eyes, you can't even hold them open. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you didn't drug this horse? <laughs> I think so. 
seems like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nap time. He's always had that crack. Yeah. It's stress crack. Because it gets long. It's actually okay up there. Yeah. It just starts from the ground. And all of mine do that. Well, your timing was great. I was going from... So, she gets here at 6.30 in the morning and waits till daylight before she makes her first call. <laughs> well, it takes, you know... 40 minutes to get to Olga. Yeah. So, yeah, I can leave it. 7. You must 7. get up 15. at Yeah. I never wear the four in it. Oh. But only on Tuesdays. See? <laughs> you come over every Tuesday? Um, three, two to three times a month. Yeah. Wow. I've got a, just a scattered group and I don't want to do, you know, a dozen horses in a day if I can no. help it. So. That must be tough like at Robin's when you have a whole bunch to do. You know, I don't work with Robin's except for um, her borders. Oh. She does her own trims Oh, now. she does her own now. Yeah. Well, good for her back. <laughs> she has me check them. Yeah. You know, she got the tools, oh, she's good. got the hoof stand and some really um, oh, good, for good her. quality, stand. sharp tools. So, um, yeah, so she has to do... So look at the difference. Six or something? Oh, oh they, yeah. There's your before and after. You got a close up on there? Yep. <laughs> got the it. That, yeah, Bob. Oh, wait, sure. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. And yeah, she can go in a barn and has a stall. And I think she can go in and out. And then she gets grain, he said. Yeah. I'm sure all those bikers who go by will really miss seeing her up there on the road. I know. Of course, now this guy's there, but gosh, I almost have to pull him in because they'll feed him, and I don't know what they're giving him. That's them. right, yeah. One time somebody dumped all their kitchen garbage in there, oh. lettuce and... Oh, great. Yeah. Ugh. I'm just afraid the sugar cubes or something will come out. Well, let's hope it's just apples and carrots and yeah. not too much of that as it is. Yeah. Oh, boy, Kaibo, just come up to the gate. Oh, boy, yeah. the fence. So what do you, what do you got? <laughs> of course, they love that. Oh, yeah. Horses on the road. <laughs> he does forage a little bit. This guy? Yeah. But I haven't, I haven't heard him, but I know he does. Uh-huh. Well, he's, it's that Arab, right? Yeah. He has the back. shorter back. Yep. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Well, he feels pretty relaxed now, so. Yep. His eyes are just nice and quiet. Yay! He's not worried about where the other horses are. Yeah, that must have been traumatic when they left. Well, they go every summer at the end of the summer. Uh huh. So, oh, they just. It was traumatic when I moved him. I put him in the stall and then we take him out to the valley. And so he doesn't really know what's going on, and you know, if he doesn't see him, well, then that's okay. But Kaibo would call him, and then that would just stir him up. Oh, so one day they just didn't come back? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, we've done that for about five or six summers now. Yeah. So that was just part of life. And then when they showed up, it was like, oh boy. Oh boy. Stop. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.